So hey guys, it's Farm Fiber and Arts and it's a really lousy day out. So I'm kind of staying in my room, hanging out with my wool and using my blending board. And I thought, well, let me show you guys what I'm doing. All right, so um, let me get myself cozy in bed and I'll let you see what I'm doing and I'll explain how to use a blending board. Bye. So you know how I like to collect those big balls of wool um, you know, sometimes I get them on sale for like $3 and you get this huge, huge ball of wool that you make those blankets with, you know, you're supposed to, you know, like knit it on your arm or something like that. Well, it's kind of like roving. It's a little twisted. So I broke the pieces out. Uh, this particular color had some like Heather, a blue, um, and it was just Heather, blue, Heather, blue, Heather, blue. So what I'm doing is I'm separating the Heather from the blue just by pulling like that. And I'm gonna arrange it on my blending board so I can make some really cool roll eggs that I would like to use. So I'm gonna put the blue down to the side there. Again, I'm gonna split this in half if I can find half. And um, I'm gonna air pump it. I, you see how you see these, um, the, the dye isn't in there even, um, well, the air pumping kind of pulls air into it. It, it fluffs your wool nice. And then I can stretch it onto my blending board. This is a simple stretch. You can, you can take your wools and put them all over the place if you want to, but this is what I'm choosing to do today. So I'm going to air pump this piece. I've already made like uh, a few bags full. What I like to do is I make a hand dye some on my wool and then I um, sell it, you know, I, I bag it up, sell it. Make this one a little bit more on this one here. So you just kind of place it on your board. And then this last piece, I'm going to fluff it up and put the blue to the top. Because we really don't want that in this particular I can see how I have that arranged on there. And now I'm gonna take my um, my reverse tying brush that came with my fiber board, and I'm gonna press this into the board. You just kind of start at the bottom, work your way up. And it presses it in there nice, so when you start to draft it off, you can really, really get those fibers straight. All right, so that's what it looks like when you get them all pushed in there. Now I'm gonna put the wool on there. I have a little extra, seems like I end up with a little extra blue. This is from the last uh, blended rovings I did on the board. I'm gonna puff it up and put it on there. And I'll put some more on there. I'm gonna cut this one in half. Then I'm gonna puff it up and put that one. That one's a nice one. Put that nice and wide. Fill up that middle spot. You can get more craftier than this. Is, this is kind of a simple thing that I'm doing here because this wool is already nice and aligned and easy to work with, but um, not usable for me. So now I'll make it into something that's usable for me and maybe for someone else. I'll take this little bit and I'll puff it up too. And I'll put this next to this one piece that looks very lonely over here on the side. There. And again, this is what it looks like. And then I'm going to take my brush. My it came with the board. It's got a reverse tying. See how it's backwards? So you're kind of just pushing them down into instead of pulling them off of. And just work them all in there. And the fun part, this is the perfect thing to do on a rainy, yucky day. And you don't feel like doing it. And like I said, I'm in bed doing this. I'm in bed doing this. So you always have to have a little bit of a knitting needle here to help you pick up your, your ends, you know, when you're ready to 
take your stick, you take a stick that comes with the board, one of them on the bottom, one of them on the top, and you just kind of tuck everything under there. I'm wondering if I can do this on an angle. Let's see. I'm trying to show the stick. Wait, well, the board is on an angle. Maybe it'll sit there for me. Let's see. So you kind of lift a little bit. And draft. I don't know if you can see this. No, I'm not thinking you are. There. Now you should be able to see it. So I'm lifting the wool and drafting a little bit. And then I'm wrapping. And I lift and I draft. And I should be able to get three roll legs out of this board. Look at the colors, how nice they're lining now. And when you're ready to lift it off, you just kind of, and then give it a little, make sure it's on there. Going the wrong way, silly me. Cause I'm trying to do it in the camera. So now it's on there real good. So you kind of push one of your sticks out and then you pull. Pull your stick out and then you push your roll leg right off there it is and i'm gonna go put that in my little pile of other roll legs that i have over there i'll show you them quick i've been kind of doing this this morning it's kind of fun i made all kinds of bags full of this stuff so let's let's oh, drop my stick when you're in bed it's not always so Easy, all right, so now this is where the knitting needle comes in. So I'm gonna kind of just go through here and pick up my fibers, so I'll get my stick under there, see? And put my other stick on top, and you just kind of turn them under, roll it to get it tight, lift. I use the edges of my board when I'm drafting. It keeps my board from sliding away. You gotta put, put some energy in there. You're pulling a, a lot of wool. Lift a little. It looks like I don't have draft going on on the end here. And I think I'm gonna draft right off and I'm gonna use that last little bit for the last roll leg. This time I'm doing it in the right direction. Kind of just smooth it, you just turn your, so you get them on there nice and there's no stray fibers hanging off. You uh, split your sticks, push one up, and pull one down, and then pull your hand on this and pull your stick right out. And now you're ready to pull off your, I don't pull off my roll lag, I just kind of let it fall off. See, I just kind of push it and let it fall right off. And he's ready to go in the pile. Oh, that was split a little bit, that's okay. It'll be fine. Again, if you don't have enough of your, your uh, fiber up, just kind of give it a little help. And yeah, it lifts it up a little bit, you see? Now you can put your stick under there. Your stick on top. Try to get it facing you a little bit more. And and you're just gonna turn your fibers. Let's see, I don't know. It didn't grab. It didn't grab. I have to grab it again. I let loose and it fell out. Okay, do this again. Now we grab it. Now, now we have it. We draft, we pull up and away. And then we, we kind of draft, oh, let me do it this way. We draft back and then lift up, draft back. Now remember, this is the last one. Looks like we don't have any pull going on right here, so I'm gonna help it. I'm 
this is the last of it, so I'm just going to keep turning until it's completely off the board. There you go. Yeah. So it's kind of fun. It's kind of hard to do in front of a camera, especially when your camera's your phone and you don't even have a desk to put it on. It's on the hamper. Anyway, there's my popsicle. Roll lag, and I'm just gonna pull it right off into the pile. Then I take my old drafting brush and I'm gonna reverse it to get off the extra. And that goes in my in my loose crazy wool pile, which is up on the dresser right now. All right, well, that's working with a blending board. It can be a lot more fun. Um, when we get into that bag of all the extra yarn that I have, um, you'll see what I mean. You can make some really cool stuff. But this is what it looks like when you spin up your roll lag. How beautiful that is. It's gorgeous. Hi, Rose. Hi. <laughs> so anyway, and then I package them up by weight. They're usually about two ounces. I don't know if I mentioned that or not, but I've got it figured out that I make about two ounces with the way I'm doing it. And then they're ready to be packaged and sold. All right. Well, thanks for watching. It's Farm Fiber and Art signing off. And don't forget to subscribe and like.